What's up, fellas? In this video, we're gonna do a teardown of a Pittsburgh three cubic foot per minute two-stage vacuum pump. There are two reasons why I wanna do this teardown. One reason is I'm just straight up interested to see what type of pump it actually is. Secondly, I'm curious as to whether or not it's actually two-stage. It sounds somewhat like a reciprocating pump, and I'm curious as if to, as if they're just lying to us because I've seen builds where people have attempted to connect two reciprocating pumps together in tandem to achieve a higher vacuum with no effective results. You just can't hook two reciprocating pistons together to get a better vacuum. Once you reach the maximum of that piston stroke, that's it. It has to do with the piston stroke. It doesn't have anything to do with how many you hook up to it. It's a little bit different than pressuring up. Um, if you've ever seen really high pressure pumps, you'll notice the uh, piston stroke is huge. And they use little tiny rod pistons for like uh, 5,000 PSI air pumps. The piston's just a little rod and the, the stroke's like eight to 10 inches. It's insane. But on a vacuum pump, you also need that same large stroke to produce a very huge vacuum. There's a point you reach where the stroke is just too small to achieve a higher vacuum regardless of the rpm that's somewhat speculation i guess you could say but that's just the way my mind's working right now but at any rate we're going to take this thing apart and see if it is in fact a two-stage vacuum pump after all it is pittsburgh from china hard telling what's going on inside of this thing explosion device or explosion hazard i don't know what that's all about Huh, maybe because they know you're gonna be using, using it with air conditioners. Some people accidentally connect the high pressure side to the can by leaving the valve open on the manifold and it blows up on them. So be aware of that if you're ever using one of these recharger air conditioner, make sure the high pressure side on the manifold is shut off because if that valve's on, I'm pretty sure that your compressor on the car is pumping air or gas into the uh, Freon canister or the R134. So anyway, I'm gonna shut up. Let's tear this thing apart. Okay, fellas, I'm gonna do my best to take this thing apart as quickly as possible. Really don't wanna mess around with this thing all night. I'm just very curious as to whether or not this thing is what they say it is. Okay. Two stage. I mean, if it's a rotary vein pump or something, that's going to be really cool. If it's a piston pump, I'm not buying the two-stage thing. Oh, no. What's going on here? Because, uh, as I said, two-stage with a piston, I'm not sure that's even really possible. We're about to find out what they have done. I have, don't have the type of gauges you would need to actually test the specifications of this pump. But uh, when I tested it on the gauge manifold, it did go down to a 30 inches of mercury, which of course is an inaccurate reading. We know that. I think it's 22 microns or something this thing's supposed to go to. I'd imagine this is just an oil case right here. Do not know. Never taken one of these apart before. I've wanted to for a long time. Kind of looked around for videos and oh wow. What do we got going on here? You guys see that? That's pretty cool. Got some reed action there. Aha! I see an off-centered lobe here, which indicates it is some type of rotary vein, maybe. Something cool is going on here. I don't know what that is. Take the camera down. We'll take a look at this thing. 
Very interesting part. I'm, I'm kind of pleased with what I'm seeing so far. If there was pistons inside of this thing, I was going to be pissed. No pun intended. <clears throat> Not a bad looking little unit. Very cool. <clears throat> this is a 4.7 amp motor. Um, let me do the math on that real quick. Okay, this is about a 0.7 horsepower electric motor. Seems to be a very nice little electric motor. It has some uh, impressive cooling fins. Very thin, they're made of aluminum. It's got quite a good fan on the back of it. Before we turn to this pump, let's take a quick look at uh, how nice of a cooling fan they installed in this thing. Because I'm the type of guy who's uh, usually very worried about that aspect of consumer products. Some motors don't even have cooling fans. This thing seems to have a very good one. Well, it ain't all that, I guess. At least it has something on there. Very odd that that's a sealed unit. Uh-oh, spitting oil out, look at that. Probably need to be very careful starting this thing back up. Interesting that nothing's happening to the other side there. Huh. So, as far as taking this thing apart, I hope nothing bad happens as far as me not being able to get it back together. I am curious as to why the end of this is sealed. You would think you would want that coil to be cooled as well. But then again, Sometimes from literature I've read now. I doubt that's the case here because this is a Chinese product But they do make make what I think is a, called a H grade dielectric for the wiring and It can handle 250 degrees or something like that So maybe that's what's going on there as to why They don't have cooling on those uh, coils on the stator and all that stator winding yeah I'm missing some sizes here there we go I would imagine a lot of this stuff is torqued together so I'm gonna have to be careful putting this thing back together I hope I don't destroy it doing this okay and we are loose Oh boy, that was through the whole block right there. Very cool. I'm liking this motor already, or this pump, I mean. Oh wow, what's going on here? Check that out, they're plastic veins. Very cool. There is a spring in there. I got to be careful with this. Um, that's disappointing that these are plastic, but I suppose it doesn't really matter. I suppose it don't matter for a vacuum pump. Even though they wear, if they did wear down, maybe it would uh, still be okay. Very interesting though. Very interesting. I don't know how hard it's going to be to put this back together. If anybody knows what this stuff is made out of, let me know. Definitely uh, would be a good one for Abby. Because he knows all them plastics. I don't have a clue about most of them. So, inside here we're just keyweighed in. You can see the ports right there. Um, I'm not exactly sure where the intake port is. Oh, well, I guess it'd be right here. Duh. Moron. So does that mean the discharge is just simply vented into this tank? 
Is that really what's going on here? Yeah, it, that's exactly what's happening. There's a baffle here inside, and that's where your breather is up top here. Surprised that's not paper. It's a little oil in there. This thing had about 250 milliliters of oil in it. I have to make sure I remember to clean that gasket off when I'm done. But, uh, yeah, so apparently the discharge just breathes right out of these reed valves and the intake is on the left side there. Now it's pretty common for me to go through 500 pairs of gloves on a major build <laughs> when it involves oil. I don't want to be working with camera gear and computers with dirty greasy hands so that's where the uh, excessive waste comes from. There's some kind of screw on the top of this thing. Some type of uh, vent. I don't know what's going on with that. Why that screw is there. I'm not seeing anywhere where oil can actually get into this thing. All right, fellas. So at this point, <clears throat> I'm really not seeing the two stage part just yet. I'm going to have to figure this out and determine how we're getting two stages out of this. Now this may be a dual pump, vacuum pump, but it's not two stage. We, we may be digging into a fraudulent product here. More fraudulent advertising from China. I'm gonna put this end cap back on so I don't damage this fan. We've seen what's going on with that. That's kind of shoddy. The, the, the windings for the motor are not exposed to the cooling. I'm not a fan of that because like I said, I highly doubt they use, use the H-class winding. Highly doubting China's coming off quality. If you're Chinese, I, I, I mean, no disrespect to you. I'm just kind of fed up with the quality standards of consumer products. And the fraudulence. They're just flat out lies. Um, I think we might be looking at a lie right here, guys. If, if you've studied compressors and things like that, you're familiar with the nomenclature. I mean, there's no bending the terminology. Two-stage means two-stage. It doesn't mean dual compressor. There's a huge difference, and the nomenclature... Oops, sorry. The nomenclature provides a distinction between the two. There's no getting around that. So how they're going to... I don't know. So far, I'm not liking what I see. I just don't... Uh, if this was two-stage, guys, there should be only one discharge. That's what's indicating to me that this is some kind of some kind of rip off here. I really should have cleaned this table up just a little better. Man, that was on there so good. These are highly uh, machined parts. Give them that for that to stick on there that well with just oil. Okay, so there is a, a lot of porting here. Then again, that's for screws. What am I talking about? There's some little tiny holes here and there. I wish I could pull a diagram up on this thing. But as I said at this point, uh, guys, I'm not seeing a two-stage compressor here. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. A two-stage compressor would have a single discharge. This is total bull. What in the heck is going on here? Look at that. There appears to be some minor rusting in there. Pretty heavy made part there. Um, I'm not liking it, fellas. Getting oil everywhere here. I am not liking it. 
<laughs> I got screwed <laughs> from China again. All right, that's just bullshit. This is not two stage, is it? Am I wrong? Let me see here. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Hold on here. There is a port there. No, there's nothing lining up with that discharge port that I can see. Unless I've got this thing wrong here. Let's see what we've got. I should have paid a little better attention taking this apart. If I can get a hole to line up with this discharge, which I think I can, then we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's see here. Ports were on top, facing this way. I'm gonna have to look at that. Give me one second here. Let's reverse directions. Okay, so there's my discharge port. Now, continuing theme is this. No. I think it was this way. Okay, so in order for this to be two stage, these ports would have to be connected. This is going to go like this. No, that's not how it goes. But right, I've got something flipped around here. Nope, ain't that. This has to go this way, so. What do I have wrong? I'll have to reverse the video. See what I did. Very careful not to scratch those. This I know is the main discharge. There should not be two discharges. If this was a two-stage compressor, or a two-stage vacuum pump, there is a little weep hole right here. But I don't know if that's just, uh, there also seems to be a channel there, but I don't think that's connected to anything in that discharge port. That's the intake right there is what that is that's the intake port right there so if we follow that all the way down this has got to be ported somehow that's why this stuff's in here they've drilled the hole and possibly ported that to there I'm not seeing where this continues. Yeah, even for the flow through, there's no. This port is just not. This is the intake. I'm not seeing where it's even connected. Don't know how hard it's going to be to get that off of there. Yeah, I do not get it. At all. So there's the discharge port for that. I don't know what this hole here is doing. Apparently nothing. For the most part, these are all just screw holes.
So these would have been in here. I'll put this back together half ass. And uh, oh. see if I can figure this out a little better. Cause I'm just, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm just not seeing a dual or a two-stage compressor here, two-stage vacuum pump. Unless that's a port right there. Okay, this particular vacuum side is connected to this. But does that have any discharge whatsoever? So this is the discharge of the first stage. Okay, we can see that uh, air is pulled in. From this hole right here, there should be a hole directly under this. Let's track this thing down. Okay, there it is. There's the intake hole. And that lines up with a little discharge port or an intake port that's right here. Okay, so then it is pressed from here straight out of freaking discharge read guys there is no way this is two stage there's no way this is two is a read right here this is a dual pump vacuum pump this is not a two stage pump i'm gonna fire this thing up briefly with it put back together um I really need to clean this thing up. I don't have the proper cleaning supplies for that right now. I'm worried about uh, how well it will pull a vacuum because there's no seals on this thing per se. It's just supposed to be machined really well, but yet I've got this residue on here. There is some scarring on here already. I don't know if any of you guys are experts on pumps. You tell me. There is no way this is a two-stage vacuum pump. It's a flat-out fraudulent lie. This thing's probably got to be put together fairly accurately. This could end up being quite the pain in the ass to get back together just right. I need to make sure I even have the right plate. You know which one was the first. I believe this was the last one. I wasn't paying attention at all when I did this. So I think we've seen enough, guys. Even if this is ported to this other side, it's total bullshit. There's a reed right here. That is a reed valve. So there's the whole proposition of this thing being two stages total bullshit. All right, fellas, I lost my cool a little bit there. And I figured it out. This this is in fact a two-stage pump. And it appears what they've done is something that I don't know if this is the case or not. I'm, I'm just observing this. It seems as if this reed valve is hardly operating at all on full throttle. And I'm thinking the reason why it's there is when you initially go to vacuum up the system, you don't necessarily need the high vacuum potential of a high vacuum pump. You need high flow rate. So I think what happens is when you initially start to vacuum something down and it's under low vacuum, it um, is pulling at a higher flow rate by ejecting or discharging air out of both um, rotors or both rotary vane vacuum pumps. So rather than passing it through two pumps and reducing the capacity of the pump, they've added this back reed valve that opens during high flow situations. But during low flow, it is in fact ducted to this front pump. The discharge of this rear vein, rotor vein pump is ducted to the intake of this pump. So I'm pretty sure that I've seen it right. I, I think I might take it apart again 
just to double check, but I don't want to bore you guys to death with this anymore. I just thought it'd be cool to take this thing apart and see if it was in fact a two-stage pump. And it is. They've just added a clever second reed valve during high flow um, medium vacuum, so to say, scenarios. When you're first pumping something down, it can pump it down a lot quicker if it was able to discharge out of both veins. But, but once the flow rate decreases significantly, only this vein's working. Let's observe that real quick. I'm gonna hit the switch for just a second. Um, gotta watch this fan. Here we go. Doesn't appear. I don't think that one's even moving at all. Does just appear to be this one. Okay, I really gotta stop running this without oil in it because it's just tearing itself apart. The oil is very bad. I'm gonna put some royal purple in this thing just because I know what it can do for parts and uh, fire it up and we'll take a look at it. But uh, for the most part, it appears this thing is gonna need a oil vapor filter. Um, a commenter on my other vacuum pump video mentioned that all vacuum pumps discharge oil mist. Some of them have a filter for it. So I was under the impression this pump was damaged because it was issuing so much oil vapor. And I mentioned that in a previous uh, video. So to kind of update that comment, it just turns out this thing just doesn't have a discharge filter, which it needs. So that's what that's all about. But at any rate, this is a two-stage pump from what I could see. There was a duct that goes as a hole that goes here. And this little gob right here of uh, glue, some kind of epoxy, they have drill a hole from here at an angle all the way over here to allow that air to duct and be ported to this side of the intake. So they take it from the discharge side, it goes down through this block, through that hole they plugged at the end, and then enters the intake of the other vacuum pump. So, sorry for all the cussing and freaking out, but it did appear as if this isn't a two-stage pump at first, guys. I mean, we see the two reed valves. Wasn't exactly sure what they were up to there. So, at any rate, I'm going to throw this thing back together. We'll take a look at it with it running with some royal purple in there and see how much uh, vapor is kicking out. And on an, another note, I don't know how much I care for this cooling fan. We're going to see how much air that thing's putting out. I'm kind of concerned about the fact there's no holes in this casting. I might uh, do this thing a favor and open it up and drill some cooling holes into it. We'll see how hot it gets. All right, fellas, so based on what I've seen after taking this thing apart, I highly recommend you always run this thing at the maximum level because the way this thing pumps oil through the pump appears to be through a tiny hole in the center axle, which is about the height of the center of the axle of the motor, right around here. I would prefer that it be submerged rather than right in the center. I think that'd be better off for it. I've just topped this thing off with some royal purple. I'm gonna fire it up and uh, connect it to the pressure gauge and see if it's still pulling the 30 inches of mercury. Because it appeared that to put this pump back together the right way requires a dowel rod that I do not have. All right, I'm gonna fire this up, but first, in conclusion to the whole tear down here, what I've seen is a, a fairly shoddy pump with some plastic veins. I don't know how I feel about those veins. It's kinda unfortunate. I feel like once those wear out just a little bit, this thing's done, whereas metal would have lasted longer. I'm gonna turn it on, see if we get a good vacuum. Let's see here. <laughs> And no, I am not getting the same high vacuum I used to get, so I'm probably going to have to take this back apart. Might just need some oil pumped in it yet. Oh, I have the valve open. That's what it was. <laughs> Forgot about these valves and the way they work. I think I ought to open this thing up for a minute and just let it pump some oil into itself. I'm a little worried about that. 
Definitely kicking off some vapor. Can't really see it where I'm at, but I can smell it. Sounds so much healthier now. I had a feeling it would take a while to work that royal purple in there. I'm shot on my vacuum a little bit there, though. Not getting that full 30. That valve has got to be closed good. I'll take it. It's doing a lot better. Notice there's no oil flow when it's in vacuum mode. Hardly any anyway. Weird. Wonder if that means it's starving for oil during vacuum. You kind of wonder. Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder how it would oil itself in vacuum phase. I'm concerned about that. It would just want to suck up too much oil through itself. So it must be made to starve itself or something. Interested to know what the, the lubrication scheme on this thing is. Because it doesn't seem like any flow hardly at all was taking place, which would make sense. <laughs> 